I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out the game. Sometimes I Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Yo, 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 take a seat. We gotta speak. Salute to the subscribers. That notification game, ricegameclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. So, uh, good morning. It's about uh, 6, 6 o'clock in the morning. Got some things going on. I'm um, about to head to work, too. So, you get this. When I get up real early, get it in the studio rather than get it in the car. So, let's take it far. T Top and Swamp, Carol Carolina. Carolina. It's North Carolina. What do you mean, Carolina? Nigga don't, he don't represent Carolina, you know what I'm saying? They've been going back and forth for quite some time. Uh, Swamp last week said he was uninterested in the battle. I'm, I'm not even interested in battling him no more. I'm not waiting three, four months to battle him when there's a bunch of other people. And there's a lot of folks who felt like Swamp should want the battle or whatever the case may be. Bloggers have spoken about it. People are talking about it on Twitter. This ain't nothing new. This is not nothing new. And I actually like... Swamp, and I like T-Top too, you know what I'm saying, as far as what they do, T-Top just had a fire battle with B-Dot when it comes out, I'm sure more people will um, have perspective, it actually comes out today, today, Smack's tired of the bootleg gang, dropping everything in one day, can't wait to see it, um, so, they had a battle yesterday, uh, let's talk about it TV, it was, looks like it was uh, Davey, Davey Ruffin, Davey Ruffin versus T-Top in a one-rounder. You know what I'm saying? Dave, David Ruffin? When you start rapping like that? Davey Ruffin is his name versus T-Top. Nights like this, I wish that raindrops would fall. My office hours, my office hours are nine to five. Nick, Davey Ruffin, nigga, that's the nigga name. I swear to God, I can't make this up. I can't make this shit up. I, I wanted to do a little research so I could have some context. I don't like just putting nigga shit out without shouting out the David Ruffin's his name, all right? David Ruffin. Flash, nigga, you're not taking my spot. <laughs> uh, so, I can't make this shit up. So anyway, um, there was a battle event yesterday in um, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, Carolina, and there was a lot of people that was talking about it. Um, I still can't get over this nigga's name, David, David Ruffin. My girl, my girl, talking about my girl, my girl, ooh. That's the nigga name, I swear to God. Um, <laughs> so, there was a battle event in North Carolina yesterday, to, in Carolina. And what it looks like is T-Top was battling against Dave, Debbie Ruffin. And um, Swamp tried to jump in. Well, show this, you a motherfucking hoe, bro. Because anytime a real nigga is in that situation, then this is how it will always go. Didn't I tell Are you, you I got hands on Tom. everything in Carolina? Yeah. 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 battle and when he tried to jump in the battle t-top was like hell no we won't go secret secret service niggas jumped in and it was like no 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 we're not trying to hit that no 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 did it because he basically was doing a move like jack did in um john john jack you a fraud john with 316 how john wick f kennedy john john with long john you duck my face and you know john john was not with that shit see Here's how it goes, and I'm gonna call this thing down the middle. I see people saying, oh, T-Top was scared, or whatever the case may be, or old Swamp was tripping. This is just my personal perspective on my small, 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 small battle rap channel. 
Swamp just said that he didn't want to take, he don't want the battle, he's not looking for T-Top, he don't want that, he don't want that, whatever the case may be. A lot of people said it was coming off the fact that uh, T-Top just went crazy versus b Dine and Swamp knows what he's getting into. I don't think that's the case, I think the timing and the fact that the battle's not already scheduled was probably more so the reason why. But, on the other hand, when you jump in somebody else's battle, somebody's just getting bars off on you, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you're not rapping against them. You're not spitting nothing back to them. It's just them getting bars off on you. T-Top don't want to be in that situation. He's like, fuck that, nigga. If you're going, if this is a business. Everybody keeps saying, it's a business, it's a business, it's a business. Well, the business ain't for a motherfucker to jump in a battle against you. And T-Top knows damn well that if Swamp gets to jump in a battle and get 16 bars off or 8 bars off or 10, however many bars off, that clip is going viral. Viral, viral today. Everybody's gonna be talking about that shit. So he has Secret Service on deck. Time that nigga. I promise you. Time Swamp said, didn't I tell you I canceled everything? It can't. Swamp time 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 a lot of other people add context to it. Twitterverse was on fire, motherfuckers was talking. Pretty much when I woke up, I seen a bunch of messages and shit like that. It first started with um, Swamp saying, I really be wishing John John the Don shut the fuck up sometimes. You couldn't get rid of ill. Maybe you didn't beat Corona after all. 30, shut your cradle cap head up. Shut up, cradle cap. Shut up, cradle cap head motherfucker. Shut up, shut up, shut up. So, Ben Swayze added some context to it. He said, bruh, how you say you aren't interested in a big battle grudge match than jump in somebody else's battle to get your bars off on the person? Man just booked the battle already. It's starting to be too much now. And John John said, niggas be wanting to say shit but don't want nothing said to them. That's why. That's like turning down a fade and sucker punching a nigga when he not looking. And then he also said, um, he can't fuck with Top anyway. That's after Ben Swayze said that's the worst homie starting to give me jack vibes and gonna get packed up. Um, said I had hope for him, now I'm biased, T-Top 30 clip. And then Swamp jumps in that conversation and said who gives a fuck, I'm not Jack Boy and both you trout mouth mules know that. And then um, it goes a little further, um, Swamp also says sorry bro I never had a contract or anything for Top plus he wants disaster. Get your facts first, Mojo looking, Mojo Jojo looking ass, nigga. Um, it, it, it's up there, it's up there. But people are asking why jump in a battle that you don't want. Um, like I said, I thought that this battle should have been booked. You're booking um, Ultimate Rap League. Y'all booking um, Swamp versus Clean Paper. Like anybody wants to see that in 2020. That's a clean. That's a 30 for Swamp. Clean don't even show up to like to rap anymore. So I don't know why that shit would be booked. Uh, T-Top's talking about he wants disaster. Nobody wants to see disaster versus anybody on URL in 2020. Niggas is battling everybody but each other. Like, that should have been set up. Like, that should be like, yo, after this nigga do Summer Madness, after you do whatever y'all niggas got going on, book that shit. October 31st, that's a whole month these niggas got. They could battle. Why can't they battle on October 31st? If that's going to be the case. Now, I feel like he do. Because if you was going to jump in a battle, you had some raps written for that motherfucker. Fuck jumping in a battle with David Ruffin. Why don't you just battle that nigga on October 31st and get the shit out the way? Then y'all, then it'll be over with. T-Top went crazy versus B-Dot. Swamp is Swamp. And that would be one of the craziest grudge matches of 2020. 2020 has been fucked up all over the place any goddamn way. We would love to see it. Now y'all niggas almost got a fade. Like, with that, the way that shit looked yesterday, the crowd was hype, people was ready to go. But it, for T-Top, out of respect for him, letting the nigga just spit they bars, I know people say, uh, why y'all just don't let him get a couple bars off? This is a business shit. This shit is business. What you mean, let, let a motherfucker get a couple bars off? Let him get a couple bars off and then embarrass you in front of the whole world that you ain't got nothing to say back. You got no written raps. And then you're doing it for free. Motherfuckers is not doing nothing for free nowadays. It ain't happening. I don't care what it is. If that's like, 
letting somebody come on my camera and just start talking crazy to me. No, you can talk crazy about anybody, but you'll do it on your camera, on your channel, on your, you, you could do whatever you want on your shit. But what happens in front of this square that my people are seeing is gonna be with we, me, and my man Showtime SP, that's all. And if my son jumps in, you see how he jumped in yesterday and violated me, jumped in the camera, you know what I'm saying? But that's a different story. But, you know, you can't, you, niggas is not letting niggas just jump in. You seen that with John John versus Jack, I mean, John John versus Twerk. He was not letting Jack Boy jump in. And that shit almost ruined the battle. But John John was not letting Jack Boy jump in in front of a thousand people and say whatever he wanted. That shit just was not, it's not a thing. You know, because uh, T-Top only got paid whatever he got paid for, one rounder. He ain't getting no crazy, crazy bag to be getting disrespected by another nigga. You know what I'm saying? In his battle like that. That shit's just not... It ain't gonna happen. I, I mean, I've seen people let people jump in and get their bars off, but now... Mm -mm. We in quarantine, too. You know what that clip would've did? Bruh. Bruh. You know what that clip would've did if he let that nigga get them bars off? Hell no. Security, Secret Service was like... They was right there waiting, nigga. That nigga was like, time. Nigga was like, no, 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 no. That nigga was right there waiting. So, uh, you seen the clip. Uh, y'all got the comments. Let me know what y'all niggas think about it. Uh, I hope everybody does well in their perspective weeks, man. Every single person out there, uh, whether you uh, got your life together, whether you getting your life together, whether you, you know what I'm saying, you, you need some confidence and motivation, like just get out there and do it, man. Like um, I hear people always ask me all the time, what, what, how can I do it? What I need to do? Like how, how can I start? Where, where do I start? And I always tell people that I never, uh, I never, I, it was consistency, you know what I'm saying? Like consistency was one of the things that got me to where I wanted to go. Even when people said that, yo, you'll never do this, you'll never do that, you'll never have 10,000 views. And now every single video damn near does 10,000 views. I had people say that you wouldn't have 10,000 subscribers. Now we damn near heading towards 100. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like it's one of them things where um, you got to believe in yourself. You're going to have people around you that, uh, that don't see your vision and that's okay you can have people that don't see your vision or don't believe in what you got going on that's okay but you got to believe in your shit more than the motherfuckers around you you could be late waking up with a motherfucker every day who don't believe in your shit and that's fine but you have to find a way to get it done like it, at the end of the day it's crazy like I have people who that I was related to or that I'm real that I grew up with or that I, you know what I'm saying, that I've known and all kind of shit that never really, like, when I told them what I was doing, they was kind of like, oh, okay, that's cute. They look at it like, oh, that's cute, that's cool. And they don't really support your shit. But then when your shit blow up, like, niggas would be quick to find you, like, yo, they was watching you in the barbershop, or yo, I was at work and niggas was watching you on the, on the screen, or yo, niggas would call me with, with other niggas on the phone, like, yo, I know, I told you I know, son, like, that's my man, yo, that's my man. And in the back of my mind, I'd be like, you know, everybody wants to be a part of something once a nigga starts doing it on their own. But long story short is, the grind ain't never going to be easy. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to do it on, you're going to have to grind. People say, oh, I don't got what it takes to afford it. Like, I've literally took a $500 camera. I mean, I got more cameras now. You know what I'm saying? I got cameras that, that I got cameras that watch cameras now and shit. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying I got a camera, I got a camera to record the camera and shit now. So it's a little different. When I started off, I started with a $500 camera. I turned the $500 camera into a $50,000 business. Now I'm turning that into a bigger business, and you know what I'm saying, whatever the case may be. But that investment, it, you got to make that initial investment in yourself. A lot of people be scared to invest in themselves. How you want a nigga to spend money on you, but you don't want even want to spend money on yourself? I say that shit all the time. The same motherfuckers who be out here online all day searching for fucking PlayStation pre-orders and shit trying to give their money to Sony just just like clicking 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 over stand outside the mall and, and try to buy a PlayStation 5 aren't the same motherfuckers who will take $500 and invest it in their own business and I'm not saying that and it might be might be more it might be less but I was one of the motherfuckers who said yo I'll take this money it could be a risk and invest it in myself buy a MacBook buy microphones, buy lighting, you know what I'm saying? I got lights, I got microphones, I got computers, I got all that shit. TVs, there's a, there's a fucking 60 inch TV right here for us to watch the battles on. 
invest in the backdrop, invest in merchandise, and you put all of that shit in there and then you never know what's gonna come out of it. It's never a guarantee, but my advice to niggas is you gotta believe in yourself. Like you have to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in your own shit, ain't nobody gonna believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it won't work like that. I'm not saying I'm the best at anything. I've never been the best at anything. But I work harder than a lot of motherfuckers, man. It's six o'clock in the morning right now. I don't gotta be to work for another couple hours, but I'd rather get up and put the grind in to get the results out of it, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. Um, I always try to like give some motivation to people, you know what I'm saying? Because there's somebody who believes, who, who wants to do something that just ain't done it yet or just don't know how to do it yet. I'm not a consultant and I can't hold your hand and walk you through every step of the process, but I can tell you that it's gonna take a lot more than just being average, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing, when it comes to battle rap, view for view, some of the most views in the world out of everybody. It doesn't even matter who, name whoever, right? But I realize that every day I need to work just as hard, you can't get comfortable. Once you get comfortable, the next nigga's gonna come right along and be like, whoop. So that's why I work so hard, you know what I mean? Because I remember niggas telling me what I wasn't gonna do, you know what I'm saying? You not gonna do this, you not gonna do that. Well, bitch, I got it done. Motherfucking gang. In my humblest voice. Now let's get to work. I'll be back with my man Showtime SP this week too. You dig? Cut the lights off. What showed us you a motherfucking hoe, bro? Cause anytime a real nigga is in that situation, then this is how it will always go. Didn't I tell you, you I got hands on Tom. everything? Tom. 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 Tom.